fans, welcome to Marvel Field here in Providence, Rhode Island, Brown University. It is the Ivy League Championship here on Next Level Rugby. We're bringing you the hometown Brown Bears. They're going to be kicking off to the big green of Dartmouth. John Broker here with Thomas Wheels. Grant Wheels, we got a great one on tap right now. Uh, you can hear the ground in the background, uh, crowd in the background, Johnny. This one has all the feeling in the air. I think we're in for a very entertaining game of rugby today. Giant versus Giant. Big Green versus the Bears. La Flamme versus Sumption. We'll talk about key players as the game gets going. Running from left right of your screen, Rafael Lanzador for the Brown Bears. Gets us going with a nice high kick to the Big Green. Dartmouth comes down with it. They're just outside their 22. First offensive stanza here for the Big Green. They're going to go to the boot straight away. I think that was Antisev. Launches a long one up there. Does a grab suit. And Lonson Newer comes down with it. Gets to Estevez. Estevez has had two games this season where he scored five tries. So watch for the number eight. Portugal age grade player. Ball up right there. First big collision. Good tackle by the Dartmouth. Set of forwards. They're going to Estevez. Estevez into contact. Able to hold on to that one. Amelia Luciano, our ref for today's matchup. Lonson Newer spots some space in the back. Launches it back there over the big green. That's Luca Strazzolini. Has to just line drive that one into touch. First line of the game here to Brown. Good start here, Wheels. Great start to this game. Dartmouth, you wouldn't have thought they've just traveled a long time on the bus. They are off that bus and putting in some brutal shots early on. Good opportunity to see what Brown are going to do here from set piece. Well, we wait. Let's talk about a couple players for uh, Dartmouth to watch. Some great ones to look out for today for Dartmouth. We've got Jack Swords. He's got the up front battle today. Really, really intriguing with Dan Archer, the big South African. Going to be a great battle to look out for. We've also got the likes of Matthias Calvo as well, the captain. as opposite prop and Willie Grinder, the nine. Very electric halfback. Calvo, very passionate here. We'll talk about this Brown team as they go to this first line out. They come to the front to Ali Corbett. Ali Corbett, tremendous player. Gets the ball down to Al Hasso. They get it out of the middle field. There goes Archer, the captain. Putting some force into this one. Last year's Ivy League Championship won by Brown. First time anybody beaten in a long time, but here goes McAlpine. He gets tripped up to the first year player. They're just inside the 22 right now. Brown looking for the ball. Dylan Lewis moves that one out. The Rye New York native. They got runners out wide, but it slips down the hands of Shikoka. Shikoka, sorry. What a catcher for a Major League Baseball team there. That's all he had to do was catch it, <laughs> didn't he, Johnny? But Brown, look at that, our first butt break of the game. Cameron McAlpine, he's been such a an unsung hero for them all season, hasn't he? Hatsuka probably not catching for the Yankees later today at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> My apologies for the mistake of the name there as the ball's going to come into the big green off of that knock-on. Willie Ridley to put this one in. Ridley, the senior from New York. Drive from that powerful Brown scrum, but they're going to go right to the midfield. Having watched some of their games, I am sure they're going to be very hot on that. Estevez gets penalized. Estevez lets the referee know that he doesn't think he should have been. Going to want to watch out the referee Luciano. Will not be putting up a lot of back chat today. Yeah, not rolling away there. Dartmouth had good quick ball, and Brown just impeding, slowing it down. So we see our first Falcon of the game and the crowd. Crowd building here, parents alumni weekend here at Brown University. Gonna have a line out to the big green. Jake Hedrick to put this one in. Brown opting for a five man. Coming to the front. Taken away by Estevez. Estevez gets a couple of meters. Calvo trying to rip that one out. Comes back there to Lewis. Lewis finds McAlpine. McAlpine, another little gap-finding run from him. Dartmouth player off his feet there, but we're going to be okay. Lonson Noor gets it to Corbett. Corbett. Big crash into Jack Swords, the grad player. Good rugby family there. Ball back in. Here comes Brown. 40 meters out. Lewis digging that one out to Lonsonur. Got runners out wide here if they can get it to him. Henrique Gabriel takes that one in. Holly Corbett 
Well marshaled so far by this big green team. They're well aware of the threat that he poses. Here's Dan Archer. Archer into a double tackle. Obviously some analysis of this Brown team by Kyle Sumption. Knows what he's up against. And Lansanur is going to launch one. Another one into touch. It's in touch. Yeah, Brown will certainly be looking to go to the educated right boot, right boot with Raphael Lonson. You quite a lot today. He's got a very good kicking game and we'll look to use the air to test the start in the back three of Dyer. Oh, sorry, rather, Strezzolini, Kamara and Brenzel. Ball coming in from Brown, El Hasso. That's Corbett. Ball sails over the top, but in the hands of McAlpine. McAlpine gets it to one of the big units. Brown going to be able to recycle this one. Player, I thought, coming in from the side there, but here goes Henry Gabriel. Henry Gabriel takes it into contact. Players have to release. First year player. Coming back in. Good defense by the big green on Brown at the moment. Here comes Dyer. Nearly intercepted. That time intercepted, but not forward. So we're going to come back for a scrum here to Brown. Smart play there by Dartmouth. Almost got away with it. Yeah, almost read the play very, very well. Lucky enough, just drifted forward. Of course, the man in front of him caught the ball, which gives Brown back possession. But what a brutal opening five or so minutes to this fixture. Both teams trading blows. Coming in from the big green, looking for this one. They are aware of the Brown scrum battle. Brown has been strong in the set piece so far. Estevez breaks away to Lonsonur. Lonsonur gets it. They have some runners coming, but Dyer has to take it into contact. This Ivy League matchup has the physicality going in that we would expect wheels. They are going to play. Lonsonur gets it wide. Dan Archer. Archer. Taken down. Penalty for not rolling away against the big green. Brown, opportunity to push this one downfield. Physical to get going, Wheels. Certainly is. Johnny, I can feel the hits from the commentator's box here. And just to see Brown here get the penalty and we'll look to send it deep inside Dartmouth's half and just round about the 10 metre mark. So, good opportunity here again from Brown to launch a set piece strike. Line out coming. El Hasso to put this one in. The sophomore from Reading, England, went to Wellington College. Dartmouth with a somebody to lift to the front. See their side to go. They're going to go to the tail to McAlpine. That one sails over. We're going to have a free kick here. Brown asks for and gets. What is an illegal stun move there for Brown? Gonna have to right that ship. Yeah, a little bit of confusion there at line out time, of course. The balk from El Hasso gets the green back the ball here. And Tisev launches one up. That is not gonna find touch. Taken by Hachisuka. Lansanur steps a couple, hit eventually. The referee sees the high tackle, so we're going to slow down here. Esteva is looking to go quick, but we're going to come back. And a quick yellow card to the captain, Matthias Calvo, is off the field for the next 10 minutes. I did not see that coming. That was uh, obviously a very clear cut decision there for the referee, Amelia Luciano. Just caught high in the captain. The ball not finding touch here. Into the hands of Kamara. Straight out this time from Dartmouth. Holly Corbett works his way up there quick. Brown looking to move here. Both teams really looking to play this game 
at a fast pace. Brown, see they go this time. Corbett up front. Corbett jumps. Corbett takes. A little messy for him, but they've got a hold of the ball. Good to go. Al Hasso takes it forward. Al Hasso near the touch line. They're going to be able to recycle this one. Move it out wide. Lewis to Estevez. Estevez into two big, hard-hitting defenders there. Player for Dartmouth has to roll away. Penalty advantage here for Brown. Free play for Lansenor, and penalty comes. Not rolling away. Here goes Dylan Lewis. Dylan Lewis on his own. Dylan Lewis headed towards the touch line. Dylan Lewis. Ball. Squirts in a touch there. And we're going to have a line out here for Dartmouth. Watch Ali Corbin on this good defensive line out operator. Dartmouth's going to have to be sure of this. Yeah, Brown will look to get up and contest this most definitely. Inside Dartmouth 22, Dylan Lewis opting for the quick tap. Just didn't quite have the support around him, but there, I think we've actually seen it in Brown's position now. It must have touched a Dartmouth player. Brown ball off the Dartmouth, taking in a touch. Crowd pushing on the ropes here. Makes it a little hard to see this sometimes. That one's up to Corbett. Looking for the drive here are the big Dartmouth, or Brown Bears. Big Green trying to hold them back. Good drive here. Good work by the Bears. Sapping away some of that energy from Big Green. We have an advantage, a penalty advantage here. Ball comes out there to Hachisuka. Hachisuka taking to the ground. Big pick and go here. Henry Gabriel, Lewis finds Estevez, Estevez shows. Probably not going to score five in this one. He wants to look for some teammates' wheels, but they're going to keep this one alive. Henry Gabriel has it. The referee's going to slow it down. Zach Brown was up off sides there. We have another penalty. Another one player down here with Calvo in the bin, the captain. Yeah, certainly got to be very careful of the discipline here, Dartmouth, in the red zone, as they call it, for Brown. And I'm not surprised they're going for the line out here. That was a very well-constructed drive. We saw moments ago. Dyer steps up, puts that kick in. Ohasso up to throw. Corbett maybe the target again. Very safe in the line out. Steady player all around. Corbett takes it. No one tries to take that one away. He had the ball up a little high. Darby players again take that one down. We may even see a second yellow here, Wheels. Yeah, I certainly think you're bang on there, Johnny, and it is indeed down to Jack Swords. 13. That's two props in the bin. I would expect to potentially see a scrum here. Might be a wise choice. I think you can certainly put, <laughs> put your money on that if you're a betting man, but very clear-cut decisions there for the referee Amelia Luciano to make. Dartmouth just guilty of collapsing the mall when Brown had all that momentum heading towards the line and surprised she didn't even go for a penalty try. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's good. Good point right there. Rumbling forward in the first one, rumbling forward on the second one. Swords rolls underneath it. Just taking a moment here, sort things out. Of course, when both of your props get sent to the bin, it creates a, a bit of a headache for the, the coaching yeah. staff. Some players in. Full scrum numbers here for the Brown Bears. Devez ready to go quick off of that one. Scrum goes down. Referee Luciano going to bring it back up. Another opportunity here for the Bears. They've had a number of pushover tries this season. Dartmouth, strongest scrum I've seen against them yet, most likely. Been a lot of trouble for some of the other teams. Yeah, you're right. This is def definitely their biggest task at scrum time they've had yet. Brown, it's been such a weapon for them all season. Talking to Coach Laflamme, they do a lot of work at scrum time, and, it, and it's paying, paying dividends so far this season. So... <laughs> Lewis 
That one there is the scrum. Scrum wheels around. Referee may have an advantage here. We'll see what they decide to do. But right over they go. We're just going to go to a penalty try here. Full seven points for the Brown Bears. Two yellow cards, a couple of scrums. Wise choices there. It pays off. 7 0 to Brown. Uh, it goes from bad to worse for the big green. That's the penalty try that we predicted could potentially happen in the scrum. With two subs, with two props in the bin, just proved too much momentum, too much power for Dartmouth to handle. And Brown get on the board first, and of course, no need to take the kick. No, no, no need to kick. They'll slow down the big green here a little bit. Can't kick right away, but good early work there from the Bears. the kick off again. And T7 launches a high one there. Brown players underneath it. Good contest comes down into the hands of the big green. Big green still down two players but ripped away by Archer but it's going to come back for that knock on. It'll be a scrum here for the big green. Great restart there for Dartmouth, just hanging it in the wind perfectly. It was Antisev. Dartmouth, this is a real first look at what they've got from set piece here. Attacking inside Brown's half. As we see the winger, Kamara. Abe Kamara has come in to the second receiver position for Dartmouth. Brown will attack with the scrum, undoubtedly. Try to draw another penalty. Two props in the bin for the big green. Swords and Calvo. Yeah, Willie Goodley, the scrum half, will be looking to get this in and out. Milliseconds. There's eight fellows in striped shirts that have a different idea out of your wheels, but we will see how this goes. Dartmouth absolutely loading this one. Here comes Brown. Good squeeze coming on here, ball coming over. It'll probably be another penalty if it doesn't come out, but it's come out to Dartmouth. Dartmouth able to get that one away. Dylan Lewis all over the ball carrier, but Dartmouth will have an opportunity here. So here they go, as you said, Kamara. We're gonna come back here for a penalty against Dartmouth for a crossing there. Bad goes to worst with their men in the bin at the moment. Yeah, clear obstruction call there. Just ran in behind his man and impeded the Brown. Defenders from getting a fair go at it and gives Brown back the ball and they'll look to clear it deep. Nice kick up there. Great kick. From Justin Dyer. Kamara was already in touch. He was locking that back in. It wouldn't have helped him out any. But we're going to have a line out here for Brown right at their own 40. Gabriel, Portuguese underpaid player. Seven. Seven, nothing. Ball down, but not straight. And that one catching the outside shoulder there of Corbett in the middle. As we saw the pressure at scrum time last time. I looked at it as if the ball came in and out of the tunnel and Johnny, but he won't see here. Garmouth was able to get that one away last time. Danny Locasio. The number eight will try to get this one quickly. Goes in there, Brown gets the drive on. Ball comes out to Dartmouth. Scrum's gonna continue to have a lot of pressure, will they? The ball goes back, and t launches that one. Nearly taken. Ronsonur has some company. Ball to Corbett, Corbett. 
Has the attention of a couple defenders. They're going to look at him all day. A very elusive player. Good size. Now Dyer launches one downfield. Finds some green grass. Kamara back on it. Kamara puts this one to the boot and puts it down inside the 22. Well done. 50 22 from Kamara. To be a line out here for the Dartmouth Big Green. That is a big moment play there from number 11, Abe Kamara. Stepping up when Dartmouth need it most. See the crowd's very happy about it as well. We've got a big contingent of Dartmouth supporters here down at Marble Field. Conversations being had. Calvo back on the field. Here's the captain back in from the sin bin, though up to 14. This has cost him seven points. You see number eight for Dartmouth, Denny Lacasio, being carried off the field by the medical staff. Still a junior economics major from Park Ridge, Illinois. Unfortunately, leaving the field. Let's see what the changes are. Estevez gets up in front of it. He is a tremendous threat defensively to line out. With both Corbett and him there, they get a lot of work out of that. McAlpine takes a shot. That one may have hit him in the head there. Lonsonur launches one downfield. They're going to keep going here. Well taken by the fullback from the Big Green. Strazzolini takes that one in the contact. Strazzolini, the sophomore from Buenos Aires. Big tussle going on here. One of the players in from Brown. He gets taken off there. Dartmouth still on the move. Get the ball back there to him. Tsev. Kamara puts a little kick through. Players looking for a call there, but a penalty against Brown. <laughs> Referee. Luciano gave them the option of where they wanted their penalty since there were two, so they're going to take a little closer up there and looks like they're going to go to the corner. Yeah, Kamara looked to put the wee grubber through and Brown just cynical, ill discipline. Took him late and of course with no arms, so probably Dartmouth's first real attacking opportunity here. Set piece. Dartmouth. Just outside the 22 of the Brown Bears here at Marble Field. Ivy League Championship match, 7-0 currently. Brown is in the lead off of a penalty try. Still up one player. Ball up, Estevez again gets up in front of that one. Very effective so far. there. On they go. Lonson Noor puts it to the boot. Gets it across the 50 but doesn't find touch. Might have wanted to there. A little chip over the top from Dartmouth. Rolling towards the touch line. And in. It's going to be a brown line out but a net gain for the big green. There's a smart wee kick there from the winger. Early brings out. Just put the chip in and found some open pasture and just forces Brown a bit more back inside the 22. Dartmouth. Dartmouth, you can see, early one to play the game in that Brown part of the field, wisely enough. Obviously, having their struggles at line out time, but they'll look to get up and contest this. With Brown's put in, Brown doing very, very well in the opening stands at line out time. Ball up there, looking for. Estevez can't find him. Don't know if a knock-on came in. Ball is back to Brown. Lewis looking for a runner. Lewis gets it back there to Lonsonur. Lonsonur puts it to the boot. Will he find touch this time? He's having trouble finding those touch, line, touch finders today. Excuse me. And up they come. Brown players in there. 
see what they get for the call here. I believe it's a not releasing. It is quick and over the top as Estevez. He's having a good game so far. He is. He is. He's been one of the standout players for Brown so far in this game. And all season, really, hasn't he? You touched on earlier in the game, Johnny, about the amount of tries he scored. But it's his work off the ball uh, that really impresses me. Such a, a brutal defender and a great target at line-out time as well. Of course, hailing out of Portugal, which is typically so growing uh, as a rugby nation. Certainly are. And they have a few players. And Henry Gabriel is from uh, Portugal. They have a good connection there. Opportunity here for players to probably catch their breath a bit. It's been a, a frantic opening 20 yeah, or 7 minutes. minutes. Saw the one penalty try to Brown. A scrum time off the back of two men in the bin, but both teams haven't really broken the line on each other too much yet. Yeah, the scrum battle definitely won by Brown at the moment, but you're playing a bit of a standstill sometimes in open play. Both of these te two teams quite clear to play each other next week as they, well, so it's a bit, of a, very well good. a bit of a dress rehearsal yeah. potentially. Yeah, playoffs start next week and it could potentially be these two teams again in this very same place, depending on the outcome of this one. There are some points and some other things involved there, so I won't get the calculator <laughs> yeah, out just yet. <laughs> Dyer, the long kicker. And touch just not being found by Brown right now on their own field. They, they need to work on this. Ball there to Henry Gabriel. He's going to get it to Lonsonur. Lonsonur is going to launch one downfield. Finds a little bit of green grass and a big green winger. Ball put back up. Estevez now. Estevez. Not typically a kicker. He's going to do what he does best. Get through three or four people. Take it near the 50-meter line. On the attack here are the Brown Bears. Lonsonur gets to Henry Gabriel. He finds some space. The first-year player. What a tremendous talent this young man is. Blasting his way through there is Gabriel, the six foot 230 Prop also plays flanker for the Portuguese eighth grade teams. Ball out here. Dyer spots some space and back. Kamara going back on it. Will it roll in a touch? Will they get there? 50 22. It's batted back in. Kamara seemed to knock it forward, however. We'll see what the referee calls here. In a big bunch of trouble are the Dartmouth Big Green right now. To Dartmouth. Dartmouth looking for the kick here. Hang one up. Estevez. Looking for that one, Estevez has it. Estevez has a couple players with him. Barrels right into contact. Puts the ball down and gets up and replays it. Referee Luciano says that's fine. Good skill there from the number eight. Ali Corbett waiting for this one. Corbett gets it to the big freshman. And over they come. Lonsonur has some runners wide. Lonsonur looks wide, gets it to Dyer. Dyer pops it off of one of the players there. Picked up by Dartmouth. Turnover here, a big moment for the Big Green. Thought there was a player taking off the ball there, but they're going to be fine. Dyer back on it, gets the ball over to Hachisuka. Hachisuka taking a little high there, just inside the 50 meter line. Lewis finds the captain, Archer. Ball back here to Dyer. He's going to launch one downfield. Right into the hands of a Dartmouth player. Looking for a run here and it breaks through. Rolling several times there was the Dartmouth Big Green player, but not called. So we're going to come out here for another attack. Looks like Jake Hedrick. Jake Hedrick. Gets it out there. Kamara in the midfield. Has to take it into contact. Looking for some runners. Find Zach Brown. Zach Brown, junior from Pelham, New York. 
doesn't release on the tackle. It's going to be a penalty here for Brown. They're tenacity around that contact area. is really paying off wheels. Oh, it certainly is. Being so brutal around the breakdown and they reap the rewards there. Just picking their moments to perfection. On that occasion, win a fantastic turnover and we'll look to enter back deep into Dartmouth's territory inside the 22 and well, I'll assume will be another launch at the drive. Dyer finds touch on that one deep inside the 22 of the big green. Good opportunity here to get that mall going again. Full complement of people. Dartmouth now, both players back on the field. About 10 minutes left in the half. Brown, of course, have already capitalized down in this part of the field already. They're looking to make the most of their opportunities down here. Corbett moves back. They go to the tailbone line out to the Galpine. Little wrap around there. They're going to try the mall a little further back. Got it set up where they think the defense will be weaker. Good work by, Burn, by Brown to set up. Dartmouth trying to hold this one off. Have to keep this up. Both props for the big green will have to be careful here. Another yellow will see him loss for the game. This is on the move. Looks like the ball is in a step as his hands. Driving towards the line it is the Brown Bears. Line is in sight. Marching their way through. Should be just about there. They may have been ripped away by a Dartmouth player, but knocked on in the very end there. So it's going to be a scrum here to Dartmouth. Player just had his hand up in the air with that ball and lost it. Yeah, not sure who it was, but they've got in there and done a fantastic job. Brown were virtually over the line, and all they had to do was place it down, and one of the Dartmouth forwards just came in and snatched it at the last minute and forced the turnover. It's a big pressure reliever, but they know now they've got a scrum to face up to. First scrum since Swords and Calver are back on the field for Dartmouth. They gave up a penalty try. See how Brown it looks on this one. They're getting the squeeze on there. Ball working its way back. It finally hits the ground. Taken away by Dartmouth. We're going to go back here for a penalty, however, against the big green. It's going to be a Brown ball just about five meters out with a penalty. See what they decide to go with. They're going to go to the corner. Well, both are working for them at the moment. It's really take whatever you fancy. The line out's been successful from the drive and of course the scrum with the push over try. Yeah, their scrum is looking pretty solid here so they're going to go for it again. That fascinating battle up front with Swords. Number one for Dartmouth. Number three, Dan Archer. Estevez locks onto the back. Dylan Lewis. Dartmouth doing everything they can. Estevez off the back. Estevez shows a couple people, gets through one. Estevez looking at the line. He can't quite make it. Dartmouth players in, trying to roll out of that one. Corbett looking for it. Corbett finds the line. Can he find the touchdown? Referee's on the spot, and Ali Corbett touches down. We're at 12 for the Brown Bears. Fans are very happy here out in the stands. <laughs> oh, they certainly are. There is some great energy here at Marble Field today. And the Brown rugby fans will be ecstatic with that one. And it's another well-deserved try to that full pack. In particular, Ollie Corbett, he's been so good at line-out time today, both defensively and offensively. And in the end, he just worked hard. The powerful leg drive got over the line. And Brown are on the board again with a kick to come. Dartmouth in the try zone. Just discuss what they have to do. Coach Sumption, very, very smart coach. Just came from Army West Point previously. Working in West Point. 
long, solid Eagle career, played for Rugby New York and Major League Rugby, certainly knows his stuff. Got some good halftime messages for him in a few minutes. Dartmouth, of course, would love to put one in before that happens. Lonsonur lining this one up. Lonsonur, good from the angles. Lonsonur launches that one, and it's good. Lonsonur puts it to 14 to nil. Brown over Dartmouth here in this Ivy League Championship match on Next Level Rugby here at Marvel Field. Just need to press the reset button here, starting in plenty of time left in this game to launch a momentum shift. And it should start from a lot, nice long deep kickoff here through the 10. And TZEV. And TSEV, another fifth year grad player. Mm. Playing in Hanover. Hangs a nice one up in the air. That one's gonna go up to McAlpine. McAlpine, a freshman English player, really showing his worth straight away into the side. From London, went to King's College Wimbledon. Good power coming on from Brown. We're looking for a call here, but not getting it. The ball's gonna come out to Dyer. Dyer's gonna get it to Lance Newer. They're gonna go wide on this one. McAlpine shows it, has to come back in. Good job by the big green defense to keep the outside shut. Dylan Lewis probably wants to get rid of this one sooner rather than later. Gets it up to Estevez. Estevez. Happy to get that reset. Ball back down to Lonsonur. Lonsonur. Lons is a dribbler downfield. He's been well taken by Strazzolini, the Argentinian back there. Gonna lean a little more towards the touchline with some of these kicks as the game rolls on. Ball out to Calvo. Calvo gets a nice little pass away. Calvo, however, finds Corbett. Corbett bashes off one. Corbett, 40 meters out, takes one down. Corbett on the spot. Lonsonur as well. Estevez, Estevez has to hang on to that one. Gets it back to Lonsonur. Lonsonur sneaks his way through a couple and gets in there. Kamara is over. Penalty this time against Brown. Kamara gets it. an opportunity here down 14 nil late in the first half great turnover there really pressure relieving you can see brown were just starting to sort of launch another raid inside brown's half and and tcf will look to get as close to the 22 as he can and their line out has struggled a bit today so far so estevez and corbett are two <laughs> defensive line out uh, specialists here it's uh, not that surprising it's critical Dartmouth. Try and get some good go for ball here. Maybe look for a shorter option. Big Green coming in. Have a couple of opportunities there. The little song and dance number that happens these days. Ball comes down to Corbett. Corbett tips it back. It looked like it wasn't straight, so it could have gone to them, but Gonna come back here. On the move again. Back to Lonsonur. Lonsonur puts one down the middle of the field for Strozzling to deal with. It bounces back. Who's it gonna bounce to? Bounces back into Brown hands eventually. Campbell O'Connor takes that one down. Enrique Gabriel almost passed it to an on-rushing Dartmouth player who's just trying to get back on sides. Was Chewidian and a penalty against Dartmouth. Some friendly pleasantries exchanged between the players there. Oh, you gotta love it. Just wishing each other well. The big rivalry. <laughs> Certainly love a little bit of that. Got a two and fro. And Brown again. Dartmouth just guilty of clearing out slowly and give Brown another opportunity here to set to their weapon. And they're not going to find touch again. Big issue here for Brown at the moment. See what the call is here. The player may have touched it down in the try zone and for all money it's eluding me what the call will be here. Hopefully referee Luciano remembers. Wheels putting you on the spot. 
believe. I'm, I I'm think not it's sure a goal line dropout. Yeah, it is a goal line dropout. I wasn't sure if it was touch and goal or. So it is. It is indeed. Goal line dropout. Fantastic. <laughs> Testing my lord, lawn olive there, Johnny. <laughs> it was more tough to my own. <laughs> Gabriel. He's a big unit. Bang! Right in the deck. Swords he goes. Battle of number ones right there. Swords makes the tackle. Launch into Has some runners. McAlpine works his way through. McAlpine not held, so he's able to get back up. Players lined up either way. They come out here to Dan Archer. Dan Archer barrels over one. Dan Archer taken down eventually by the big green defense. Lonsonor has runners. Lonsonor comes to McAlpine again. McAlpine dribbles that one. Ball going back. Referee says that's fine. Corbett has a hold of it. Corbett gets it to a stem and a little speculative pass. They got it there. Out the back they go. That's Hachisuka. Hachisuka. Works that ball back to Estevez to the ground. They're safe. Ball to Corbett and pass Corbett, excuse me. To big Henrique Gabriel. Player from Dartmouth rolling away just a bit slowly. The penalty against Dartmouth for playing a player off the ball, I believe. As we see a brown player just down on the ground. They're getting attended to by medical staff. Great turnover there for Dartmouth, though. Real pressure reliever. Henry Gabriel did collision with Jack Swords earlier. It's been a real intriguing matchup for me so far in this game. Gabriel's been outstanding. I think Johnny such a, carries with such brute force and gets such good go for a ball for his 9 and 10 Lewis and Watson Ewell just to distribute with such pace. So we see the players getting some well-earned H2O. Yep, certainly are. We're just waiting for Henry Gabriel to get attended to. He's up and good to go. Would have never done that just to buy a little time a prop, would they? Not at all. Not at all. And Tsev gets that one just outside the 40 meter line of Brown as we're winding down the first half here. Another attacking opportunity for the Big Green. Get Jake big. Hedrick. Big Green will want to strike here before half time just to give them some confidence heading into the second half. The hooker Jake Hedrick from Mercer Isle, Washington. Junior economics major to put this one in. Five-man line out. We'll see this side to go. Song and dance number didn't quite work last time as they go to the tail. Corbett not going to need to get that one because McAlpine has it. He shows one way. McAlpine on his own. He's got a couple of players on him. Able to offload it there. Unfortunately not held by Brett Geis. Comes back to Abe Kamara. Back in the hands of Brown. We're going to go back to that initial knock on there. It's going to be a scrum here for the big green. Can't be much time left in this half. No, definitely almost into referee's time here, but the big green at half time, I know what Kyle Sumption will be looking to, to have a chat about, and that's the line out. Just try and get it functioning. What's going wrong? Now they're, they're trying to, they're not simplifying when they're having a bit of an issue. They're, they're, they're going a little more complex. They just, you know, get up in the air quicker, get the ball there quicker, you're good to go. Easier said than done from the oh. commentary booth wheels, but we need you in the half time. How do we? Yeah, Johnny has spoken it there like a true coach. Of course, years of experience. Ball in there from Gridley. Big drive comes on from Brown again. Dartmouth knows it's time, so they're just going to launch that one into touch. And that is the end of the first half here. Ivy League Championship on Next Level Rugby. 14-0 leads Brown University. The Bears over the big green of Dartmouth. Final thoughts for the half wheels. Yeah, Brown, they've been really, really clinical inside Dartmouth's red zone. We've seen their tries come from brute power at line-out and scrum time. Dartmouth, they need to get the little things functioning well. The line-out, the scrum. Again, just to build some ascendancy and some momentum on Brown, who at the moment is doing awesome around breakdown time and building some real, real good phases. Okay, we are going to step aside for just a second. You heard it from the master right there. This is Ivy League Championship Rugby on Next Level Rugby. We'll be right back.
A great second half coming on as Stennis takes that down. Gets a big kick from Zach Brown. John Brooker here with Thomas Wheel Grant for this second half. Everything to play for here. Lots of passion between these two Ivy League rivals. Brown won the Ivy League last year. First team other than Dartmouth to win it in many, many years. So some competition here. Dartmouth, of course, would like to take this back. Nice run there from Strazzolini, but he's taken down. Referee Amelia Luciano for this one. Puts it out there. Dartmouth working the field. We'll talk about potential messages from the coaches with wheels in a second when we get a break here. Brown, of course, running from right to left on your screen. Coached by Dave Laflamme. Ball coming out. Thinking they have the width here. Nice work getting the hands into the ball of Owen Lee. Inside the 22 of Brown, intent from the beginning here, wheels from this Dartmouth team. Ball out to Antisev. He goes wide to Big Jack Swords. Big Jack Swords would like to make up for that yellow card. He is a heck of a player, the grad student at Dartmouth. Come across this side again. Luke Wilson gets a pass out. Brown players in there trying to steal. See what happens here, maybe taken away. The referee is going to penalize here against Dartmouth. A good work there by the captain, Dan Archer, forces that turnover wheels. Oh, that's a proper captain's turnover there, Dan Archer. Dartmouth coming out of the half-time break with some real energy and making a, a great wee break there, but then again, just guilty of coughing the ball up there and didn't have enough support to lock down that ruck. Dan Archer, Johnny on the spot. Dyer pushes that one. Just about 42 meters out. It's going to be Brown line out here. So wheels down 14. Kyle Sumption, great coach for Dartmouth. What's he saying to his team? I'm sure he would have, you know, obviously had, there's a few things they need to work on, but I'm sure he would have kept them calm and composed in these big fixtures. Obviously line out time is a big work on for Dartmouth, but continue to string together phases and try and apply pressure. Stick to the assistance. See where they go. Corbett at the front. Can stay nice and easy on this one. Now Hasso, looking for this. They are going to go to the front to Corbett. Corbett comes down with it. Player tries to get involved, but Hasso moves that one away. Just dribbles back onto the ground. Has to be taken by Lonsonur. Brown has a hold of this one. They get it to Dyer. Dyer going to feed an onrushing forward. Lewis finds Dyer. Dyer has a kick block there, but... Knocked, and we're going to come back here for a scrum to Brown. First scrum of the second half. Yeah, the scrum battle was certainly won by Brown in the first half. Really, really dominant. Dartmouth, of course, they have their full complement of front row back after seeing two of them to the bin, so they'll be looking to restart at scrum time. And Brown, Coach Laflamme will be very happy with how things are going. Of course, they're only up by two converted tries, which is easily mountable for Dartmouth, but they're doing the little things really well. Dartmouth starting the second half with real intensity right now. Good line speed, trying to move that ball, bringing up the physicality. Scrum goes down, we have a free kick here. Estevez needs no introduction to take it quick, but didn't take it from the back of the scrum. So Dartmouth have also made it a change at nine. Number 21, Rocky Dutta, has entered for Willie Gridley. Dutta, the freshman from the UK, played at Plymouth College in the UK. Dartmouth really need to apply pressure on Brown's exit here and force a mistake. Lewis gets this one in. Big push from, Burn, from Dartmouth this time. Lewis forced to dig a little bit. Ball out to the backs now. They've got a little break here. Onto the ground they go. 
Wants to Newer comes in and gets that one sorted out. Corbett around the corner. Takes the ball from Lewis. We'll hang on to this one. Dyer. Gets it up to McAlpine. McAlpine. Made of rubber sometimes. Just gets his way through that groove. He gets to the 40 meter line. Dartmouth player. Not rolling away. Stuck in there. Good work by Brown. He does indeed, Johnny. He's not the biggest player on the field, but he manages his break tackles with ease. So strong on his feet. Referee Luciano having a conversation with Matthias Calvo, the philosophy major from Guam. Played his high school rugby at Father Duemas Memorial School on the beautiful island. Finds touch, a good one down the field. They're just about 25 meters out from the Dartmouth line, leading by 14 in the second half. First foray into the Dartmouth side of the field in this half, Wheels. Yes, yeah, certainly is for Brown, and they've capitalized when they have been down in this area of the park. Wouldn't be surprised, even though they're 22 meters out from Dartmouth's line, if they do go for the drive here and just itch meters forwards. It's, it's working so well for them in this game. Quickly up to Estevez. He comes down. They're going to maul this one. Strong maul so far. They're across the 22. We'll see if this gets taken down by Big Green. Good pressure coming on them. Big move here. Players trying to work their way around in the back from the Big Green. Balls in the back. Brown just happy to be on the move here. Players see off there from Brown, but they've got this one alive still. Balls back to Corbett. Corbett. Restart the mall here, Corbett. It's a ball to Lewis. Lewis has it to Lonsonur. Lonsonur gets it wide. Dyer gets it there to Cortabaria. Cortabaria, the sophomore, gets it back to Campbell O'Connor. And Campbell O'Connor touches one down. Great move there. Good interplay between the backs coming back in on a hard line. Great try for oh, the Brown Bears. Great way to start the second half for Brown. Very pleasing to watch. As predicted, they set for the drive and just etched a good 15 metres towards Dartmouth line and then flung it out to the backs. Lonsonur set the short pass off in the midfield. And of course, that man O'Connor bursts through. Little ball back in from Cortabari, and I have to take a second here. Cortabari and his twin brother, both sophomores, have went to Belen Jesuit, played uh, in the Key Biscayne, Florida. I called them in the last game Argentinian-born. They're Uruguayan-born, so I'd like to apologize to the Cortabaria family. I saw the father earlier, as well as the nation of Uruguay and their great rugby people. And I might as well apologize to Argentina while I'm at it. Nah, so. get, get it all off your chest, Johnny. Get it all off your chest. <laughs> That's 21 there. Good from Lonsonur. Coach Dave Laflamme starting to crack half a smile here at the Ivy League Championship. It just goes to show when you get that strong platform set by the fours, it gives you such good attacking phase to go off through the midfield. Dartmouth on the ropes here early in the second half. Tsev to kick this one off. Along this time, hanging up in the sun, down in the hands of Dyer. Dyer gets that one blocked. A big fella, Zach Brown. Not the musician, the great rugby player for Dartmouth University. Estevez. Can't find that line through there. He's hit by Brown. Brown featuring right here. Great play. From Brown from Pelham, New York. Went to the Browning School. Ball back to Lonsonur. Lonsonur is going to put this one to the boot. Hangs it up in the middle of the field. Both players are playing, looking for the 50-22, but it's well taken there by Strazzolini. Strazzolini looking for the corner. He's going to find Estevez eventually, but almost works his way through. Good stop by the big Portuguese number eight. Ball out, looking for some runners, but finding a big hit there is Masa Kawasaki. Retaining the ball, they are, and Tsev has to go way to the back here. 
They've got some runners out wide, but they have nobody in good support at the moment. Now have come up. Ball slips aside there. It's gone back according to ref. Dartmouth will have to keep playing here. Need to cut down this lead relatively soon. Ball out, waiting forward, just trying to poke some holes here. Brown defense has the width covered at the moment as they go with an interesting ball to Calvo there. Sort of a pop fly in American baseball terminology. As the ball comes away there from Dutta. A little chip through. Kicked out by Brown. It's going to be a line out here for Dartmouth. A little hard luck there for Aaron Merchant. Good defense there from Brown. Really moving Dartmouth from left to right across the field and not letting them break through their defensive line. It's worked really well in combination today, hasn't it, Johnny? Certainly has been a good combination. And Dartmouth's first opportunity at a line out in the second half. Let's see. Enrique Gabriel down just a bit again. The physical number one. Being intended to, a little blood. I'm not surprised that man has been into everything. Today so far has Gabrielle. It's always good when you've got a few marks to, to show for it after the game. A few battle scars. <laughs> Good to go. Five-man line out for Dartmouth. They've had some challenges with this. Estevez again takes that one away. Lewis and Estevez looking like to see these stats today. Step inside there does Portaparia against Big Jack Swords. Ball cleaned up. Who are they looking for this time? They have ball out to the forwards there. Front row props connect on that one. Was able to get out there as they get the ball back to Lansenur. Lansenur is going to find touch this time. Into the crowd. It's going to be a line out here for Dartmouth. About 32 meters out from the line. Yeah, good exit there from Lonson. Your he'll be happy with that considering how well the defensive line out is functioning. It's Devers and Corbett. As you see, the statistics will be interesting to see, and they'll be pretty lopsided. I can tell you that already, Johnny. They have been since. To the front they go. One, that one. Hasn't been that easy. McAlpine putting some pressure on there. Dartmouth ball out into the midfield. Haven't had a lot of offense as of late. Going to want to make the most of this if they can as they move the ball quickly off to that left-hand wing. I think that's a place they can attack. Dartmouth player rolled off of that ball. Dartmouth has width out here if they can get it out there, but it looks like it was spilled forward. Is Brown going to be able to capitalize on this and take the advantage? They do have the ball. We'll see where they go with it as the ball comes to Corbett. Corbett hit by a couple. Good double tackles from the big green today. They come back to Cortabaria eventually, but it came through from Lansenor. Break down the side here for McAlpine. McAlpine, tricky customer to bring down there. Wide now where there's some space. Estevez has a runner out wide. Estevez has Mertzel. Mertzel has to find some friends. Gets back in and does find those friends. Join the party. They're going to win the ruck. Ball there to Corbett. Corbett hands in. There's an offside penalty advantage here for the Brown Bears. Dyer steps in there, moves it. Gabriel lets that one slip. We're going to come back to the offsides here. Dartmouth penalized. See, there's plenty of plenty of passion here in the crowd. It certainly is, and Brown, this is a really, really smart decision. Just itch an extra three on to push the lead out to 24 points to nil. And of course, we know Long Senor has good range. A very, very established goal kicker. Good work there by Mertzel on that last play. Mertzel, sophomore from Los Angeles, California. Sierra Canyon School. Keeps that one alive. 
Lots in the world. We'll put this 24. Nice strike there, but off to the side. No good from Lonsnoor. We're made at 21 mil here in the Ivy League Championship. Marble Field. Brown University. 22 drop to come. They had the distance that Lonsnoor just dragged it to the left. Estevez back onto it. Estevez has ball in one hand. We'll see what he decides to do. Decides to barrel into one of the Dartmouth players there. Dartmouth player rolling away. Lewis finds a runner. Good work there. Player coming in to try to rip that one away, but nearly taken off. Gabriel trying to take him off there. He's penalized for not releasing. Player just a little late on the clearing off the jackal there, Wheels. Get out of there quick enough in Dartmouth. Good opportunity now for them to really try and wrestle back from Brown. And interesting, they're going for the tap and go on halfway. What a run here. Fascinating. Good player. Brown working on the ground there. Ball comes back. They're going the direct route here, just sending some big pods of forwards in. Gonna soften up this Brown defense just a little bit. Kamara gets one wide there, gets it out to the wing. Injecting some pace on the wings is Dartmouth at the moment. That one's a little bit messy. Knocked on, so a scrum here to Brown. Good work by uh, Dartmouth to get to the get to the edge there. They certainly got it to the edge very quickly there. And if I, if I had to mention one man's name who's been a shining light for Big Green so far, Lucas Strazzolini, the man in the number 15 jersey. He's done very well at the back today. Brown have tested him with a lot of kicks, and he's been certainly a cool, calm, collected customer and collecting those and on attack too. So Razzley. Lewis to put this one in. Estevez thought he might get the free kick there. Battle, obviously dominated by Brown in the first half, resulting in two tries. Big pressure coming on from the big green. They really decided in the second half that the scrum was going to be different, but a ball back in. Nice work there for Hachisuka. He nearly gets through and gets penalized and not releasing there. Big green wants to run. Dutta has a hold of his ball, and they are going to go indeed. Players on side for Brown, so no additional offside penalty. I've got some width out here. Dada goes on his own. See if he gets the ball back, has done. Somebody else has to step into that receiver position. Kamara looking wide here. Kamara looking for something. Kamara finds Estevez and Corbett ducking and weaving right there like a boxer, but eventually gets taken down. Well, that might have been an unintentional high tackle at some point. It's like a box kick coming from Dutta. And that one's going to swirl into touch. Going to be line out back here for Brown Bears. Oh, did very well there, did Aid Kamara. He'd do good on the show. They call it wipeout, don't they, here in America. <laughs> the old obstacle yeah. game, ducking and weaving his <laughs> way around the defenders. It's fantastic stuff. He's been pretty good today, too, for Dartmouth on the wing. I like the intensity that Dutta has brought off the bench here for Dartmouth. Really looking to try and up the tempo and counter punch Brown. Ball over the back there into Big Brett Geis' hands. Big Brett Geis gets that ball back. 
player taken off. Brown's going to have a hold of this one. Dartmouth thought they should have had a hold of that one. Gabriel is going to step into the tribute position. What can't that number one do? Still alive with the shot. <laughs> Dartmouth in ripping that away and have it done. Dartmouth across the 50 meter line. Brown trying to fight for this one. Can't get it. Again, using some of the big units. Also Kawasaki. Senior from Tokyo. A little pop pass there. Dartmouth starting to find some stride here. Midway through the second half. Player off his feet for Brown. Referee Luciano right there. Opportunity here for the Big Green. See if they decided to go just run the ball again. Lineup's been tough for him. Exactly, and it worked for them last time. Dada turning on the spot with a quick tap, but I think they are going to look to go for touch. Oh no, rather they are going for the tap. You're right, Johnny. Persist. Calvo. Habit takes one. Calvo lowers the boom. They have runners out wide here if they can get it. Big tackle coming in from Harry Gabriel. Big counter up coming in from Corbett. Big hits coming in from the Brown Bears. Ball slipped there. Comes out big green way into Zach Brown's hands. Players coming in from Brown, but penalty against Brown again. See exactly where that started. The referee's going to want to take down some temperature here. comes out. Another yellow for the big green. Dartmouth player is going to leave the field. The yellow card as well going to Estevez. Two players off for the next ten. I think Ricky Luciano has dealt with that very well. Yeah, certainly. Just want to let both teams know that she's now not going to be pushed around a bit. Very good referee, well regarded. Plenty of atmosphere in this one. I see the crowd. Very vocal in both camps. We've got Dartmouth to our right and Brown to our left. <laughs> Fans are certainly very passionate here. Twenty-one nil. Turn around looking for support, can't find it. Somebody's gonna have to come in that distributor role, and they do. Good line speed coming up from Brown. Ball into the middle, looks like that was Reardon. Dutta. Moves it wide, Brown. Makes a tackle. Still on the move, come the big green. Dartmouth recycles again, moving towards that left hand side. Staying in with the power game. Recycle one more time. All slips that time. Scrum time for Brown. Second row off the field on one team. Number eight off the field on the other team with those yellow cards. So scrum will be a little different here. Fantastic defense there from Brown. Just not letting Dartmouth mount any sort of pressure on them at all. Just forcing them back. These two-man tackles, double action. 
really paying dividends for them today and of course they get the scrum which has worked so well for them in this game so far. Referee just taking time to get the scrum down since we're missing a couple of people there. Players have made their moves around. Quick to Bari, maybe the back of this for Brown. Huge scrum. Penalty definitely coming against Garvin on that one. Garvin a couple of really good scrums the last couple. Brown really picked it up that time. No, I agree there, Johnny. The, the first couple of scrums out of the halftime stands, they did very, very well and got a great push on. Like that, very well connected, strong, stable, got a great push, but Brown. Rear hold of the ascendancy there at scrum time. That was a we brute. Pushing across the field here, so they're not going to find touch on that. Immediately up with a kick. We'll see where this one goes. Into the hands of one of the Brown players. That's Dan Archer, the captain. He loves going forcefully forward and does right there. Here's Ali Corbett. Corbett makes that one. Some JT Dyer has some room here. Gets the ball well out there, well tackled, but a little bit isolated here is Brown. Player going to get penalized clearly for that one, but an advantage here for Brown. Ball chipped ahead through. We'll see if they come back for the advantage. Referee has not. Lonsonur has to hand that one off. Here comes big Henry Gabriel. Henry Gabriel looking for a couple players. He knocks that one on. Brown on the knock on here. Lonsonur out of play. Brown players ripping that one away. We'll come back to the knock on. Couldn't get rid of that one. Bit of messy play for a minute there. Lonsonur just being attended to. Yeah, it was to and fro. The ball was everywhere, of course. Dartmouth will get the put in. Lonsonur just de dealing with a little bit of cramp in the background. Get the pickle juice on from the sideline. But that was some very messy rugby there and Dartmouth will be relieved to get the scrum feed in here. He's been really good today, hasn't he? Lonson, you know, a good player. They just touch every time. They, they gave him a few runs there that could have slowed down the game and just rolled it in a touch, but generally good player. Yeah. Ball. Big scrum coming. Players just digging it out there is number eight, so gonna win that one. The runners coming around, they're gonna keep it tight in T7. He gets dragged down. Good tackle by Brown. Dada up quickly. Two runners out there. They're certainly looking to that wing. Kamara actually taken down by the Brown defense. Very talented player. Sword shows, Sword goes, he's across the 22. He is a lot of person to take down. Jack Sword, 6'2", 235. Went to Don Bosco Prep in New Jersey. There is a rugby down there, played the Holy Cross. Ball in around the back from the big green. They've got room out wide here, we'll see how they do. Good tackle, ball recycled. Penalty against Brown, deep down in the zone here. See what Darwin decides to do. They want to go quick on this one as time is certainly winding down. Yeah, Dartmouth certainly have to have a crack here quickly and wouldn't be surprised if they are going for the quick tap. Struggling to see it from here, Johnny, but looks like they're set up for it. Just held up, player being attended to. Really have shone today. Has this front row for Brown, Gabrielle, Al Hasso, and the captain, Dan Archer. Bro carries. Of course, very sound defensively. Going 
the direct route are the Big Green from the five meter line. They don't make it on that one. They're gonna send it out again. Big bash in there from Jack Swords. Jack Swords can't find the line. Held up. It's going to be a goal line dropout for Brown. Great work defensively by the Bears. Fantastic there from the Bears. Desperation. Last grasp defense. And just did enough to get up under the ball. Which of course is a goal line dropout. Brown. Continue their defensive stronghold. Lonsignor will look to send this deep. Lonsignor puts it high, gets it just inside the 40 meter line, and Tsev knocks that one on, comes down to the hands of a waiting down player. Races on here, ball inside to McAlpine. He scored long distance before. Here comes McAlpine looking for some teammates. Had Pitbaldo with him. But it goes instead. Archer comes up with it. Ball winds up and back there. Big Brett Geis. Going to come back for a scrum here. All that good work off the Brown pickoff. Not going to happen for him. Oh, it was all written there, but the final chapter. Oh, it certainly was. 21 nil still. Just got a bit of an awkward bounce. Archer should have just maybe taken that a little closer. Fancying his chances at number nine on that one. Yep. But who can blame him? Big scrum here for Dartmouth. Big push coming in from Brown, but able to get it away. Dartmouth on the move, just inside their own half. Temper counter ruck, but Dunn is going to move that one away. And Tsev pushes that down to Lonsenur. Lonsenur has some space in behind, but decides to run it. Brown on the move, inside their own half. A rare time, there haven't been a lot of players back. But Dunn is back there on it. Dyer rolls one back. Tough for them to handle. See what they decide to do with it. And Dada, oof, <laughs> throwing back there to Strazzolini. Almost got himself in a bit of trouble. Oh, yeah. As the ball comes down. Nice anticipation and a hit there from the big green. Brown is going to be able to recycle it. I believe that's the hospital pass definition. That is the clear cut <laughs> definition of a hospital pass, yes. Back down, he'll be okay. Lewis taking his time here. Moves that ball back. Cortabaria puts everybody on sides from the kick from Lonsenur. Goes back there. It's to Kamara. Kamara down the wing. Kamara looking to make a big run here. Kamara gets taken down eventually. Brown working their way back on side. Other passages of play from Brown late uh, from Dartmouth late in the second half. Penalty against Brown coming in illegally there. Opportunity for the big green. Calvo is going to move this one quickly out. Chipping it inside the 22 to Lonsenur. Lonsenur makes an amazing move there. Lonsenur gets by Calvo. Lonsenur just on the move here. Ball blocked by a Dartmouth player. We'll see who comes down with it. Come down to Dartmouth. Big Jack Sword still on the move here. Hustling with Corbett. They play together on the northeast side. Know each other well. Holding them up right now. Ball to the ground. Counter up coming in. A little chip through. They're looking to get it in that space. Brown back on this one. Good pressure from Dartmouth. Brown has possession. Get one out there. They're just going to make a little move, try to dig some ground, have done to Joe Alhasso. Now the ball is back to Dyer. Dyer is going to look to find touch and has. The line out here for Dartmouth. They just can't breach that line of the Brown Bears. Uh, they found it extremely difficult to pierce through that Brown defense. Oh, so well connected and making awesome chop tackles. Technically very sound. All of these Brown players defensively, they no doubt do a lot of work on that at training. Johnny's such an important part of the game. The 
Estevez back in the game. Sin bins are over. Brown on defense here. Dartmouth of the five-man lineup. They're going to go to the front. Let's see if Estevez can get up there again. Just disrupts. Corbett gets a hold of Dutta. Dutta got an unclean on there, but took it. Gets it to Luke Wilson. Brown in over that one. Ball comes loose. Good break here. That time for Uli Brenzel. Ball back now to Ncifa. Ntsev. He thought he saw somebody out wide. Eventually the tackle comes in there. They still have some runners out there, but good pressure defense coming on. They're trying to get it back to Kamara. Kamara gets it flat-footed. Able to make a couple of couple of meters there. Just to give him a little head start there before they just get the ball in his hands. And get it to uh, Kamara. Any which way is not going to work. Dutta coming back in that direction. Brown with the tackle there. Dartmouth gets it through. And Kamara headed to the try line. And Abe Kamara touches down five points for the Big Green after some sustained pressure from the Dartmouth men. Yeah, great reward there for Dartmouth. They've stayed very, very patient, resilient. And that man on the wing, Abe Kamara, I think really well deserve it of a try today. I think he's been a shining light in this Ooh, Dartmouth tremendous. side. That was a lovely little cat flap offload there to put him away. I think it was the number 12, Gabe Reardon. Really nice, deft touch. He put Kamara down the outside, who has pulled up now with a little bit of cramp. This match has certainly been a brutal one, so the bodies will be in need of proper recovery after this one. The ice baths and yeah, certainly will. electrolytes. Will game. It'll we'll probably be the same teams here next week. Starting to look like now as we're rolling a late in this game. No good, so we're at 21 5 here. Time winding down. Takes one down just outside our 22. Long kick there. Back there, Dartmouth keeping this one in hand. Dutta is going to launch it up. Archer back on that one. The captain got a couple of players in front of him. She's going to take it through himself. Bounces off the first. Luke Wilson attempted tackle. Estevez, little ball up there to Cortabari. Cortabari gets it to Corbett. Corbett, can he keep himself in? Corbett on the touch line. Ball coming back in to Brown. Free has a whistle. Sees that one. See what the call is. Just trying to get some visuals on the throw in here as we've got a congested sideline. I think it is Dartmouth. That will get the throw into the line out. Based on Brown's defensive setup here. Certainly will be. Very, very good practice at wind, <laughs> winding down games, which is very important. That is going to be electric there because the Dartmouth is by no means, you know, they're, they're down 21 to 5 right now, but they've shown some great rugby here today. And it shows some understanding of how Brown plays. Be a great matchup. Make sure you're able to marble for that one. Drive on, they go. Brown to get in the roll. Having the last say here with that power. Dartmouth players trying to work their way through. Dartmouth players working there. Another move out the back here. Comes around to Dyer. Dyer gets it to Cortabaria. Cortabaria hands on the couple. Penalty coming for a high tackle. They've got players out wide. Lonsenur pushes this one back. We're going to come back for the penalty here. Late penalty for Brown. Maybe just fill some time and go for the post here if they would like to. Or no one 
some of these boys they may want to have a run. Yeah, I always love to see a tap and go or a scrum, but I know that. Now the scrum, I've got my wish. How <laughs> good. You have your wish. Good opportunity here as well to see what they've got from a midfield opportunity with options left and right. <laughs> Can overhear a coach Laflamme. Some coaches wish for safety sometimes, some players wish for excitement. See what works out here. The game is winding down. So we have a look at the setup here. Blonsignor, he's just got Justin Dyer sitting in the pocket of him. Don't be surprised if we see a switchback play. Just set a couple up and go for a Henry Gabriel drop goal. He's done everything else today. Would not be surprised. Better not put too many ideas into the man's head. Penalty here. We'll see what they decide to do. Interesting if you can get a card against one of these props on Dartmouth, they would be out for next week with a red card. That's a very good point there, Johnny. Of course, I'm not so it's, it's how it works here is they got a yeah, if they, make suspension. Yeah, there should be at least a week suspension if they got a double yellow for one of these players, I would think. Not sure if that's their tactic, but I'm not even sure I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll believe you. An interesting opportunity. I mean, a red card, you have to go before the disciplinary. They certainly got to tread water very carefully. Mm. Of course, Jack Swords and Matias Calvo have not been replaced. I mean, they had a 10 minute break. Big drive coming in from Brown. See Calvo's head pop up there. Watson the word pops out and wide. We're gonna come back for the penalty. Yeah, yeah, We're not gonna We are gonna go back for the penalty. I just think we didn't hear the whistle from the referee there. Tap and go. Lewis is going quickly. But not from the mark, so we'll come back. Looks like they are going to go for the points this time. Give their boys a bit of a breather. It's been all action packed in this one so far. Players and Brown look pretty pleased. I think somebody just asked how much time is left of the referee. She may have said this would be the end of the game. So Lewis will take this kick. And that one is good. Referee whistles it, and referee whistles for the end of our game. And that is the end of our match. Your 2022 Ivy League champions are Brown Bears for the second year in a row. Wheels, final thoughts on this one. Uh, congratulations to Brown. Extremely clinical today. Made the most of the opportunities within, within Dartmouth 22. Scrum, such a weapon. Line out, such a weapon. They are very, very well drilled and deserve a victory today. But the beauty of it, we get to do it all again next week. Dartmouth back to the drawing board. They certainly sowed some glimmers of light today. That promises to be a fantastic matchup. Join us next week for that one. Next level of rugby for Mike Baker, for Ryan, the man of the rugby plan, Kitty, for Chris, and for Thomas Wheels, Grant. I'm John Broker. We'll see you next week. It's been a blast. Fans, welcome to Marvel Field. Here it is.